We have to be careful, Spinel. Once in a thousand years, a new evil will spur upon this world, and there's only but one hero that can save us. Is it Spyro? No. SpongeBob. Going, everyone, it's Spinel and Steven, and welcome to Spiral the Dragon. Honestly, I can never get tired of this game. Like, who would? This game is a pure classic on the PlayStation. Now, due to the skit that we did previously, if you guys didn't know, as old as, as old as this game is, SpongeBob was the voice at, or Tom Kenny is the voice actor of Spyro and Spongebob. Yeah, he voiced Spyro, Spongebob, Ice King, and, you know, so many other roles you probably heard of. I don't know if Spyro 1 was voiced by Tom Kenny. Yeah. I know Spyro, um... Spyro 2 and 3 was Tom Kenny. Yeah, so, uh, let's go ahead and watch... In the world of dra... Okay, let's go ahead and watch this cutscene. Okay, rolling. Oh! It's been peaceful here in the five worlds. Or it's been peaceful here in the five worlds. Or a dragon's age. Spiral we now so have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What that about this dynasty right. character? Now I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. Dang, turning gems into war- oh wait, no, that's, that's actually nothing new. Wait, I know his name is Nasty Nork, but so is the G, so is it- No threat! Nasty Nork. No threat! Ugly that does it! Come on guys, like, hey. what course we Looks like I got some things to do. Yeah, I think it was Spyro 2 or 3 is when it was Tom Kenny who voiced Spyro. Unless, like, it is Tom Kenny and they just took a different direction. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, the adventure could, begins. That could be. That could be a thing. Okay. Here we go. Hey, Nestor. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. No problem. Eat ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? Uh, what about I'm Nasty Nork? Fine dragons. <laughs> so is it Nasty Nork? Gun Nasty Nork? G Nasty. G Nasty. Uh, th put that on the album cover. He's going to drop the hottest mixtape in 2023. Oh, wait, that already happened. Yeah, so we're already in the new. Okay. G Nasty is going to drop his album in 2093. One. No, 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 he's gonna drop his mixtape the same time Dassey drops his, so yeah, it'll be so a while. Yeah, so just look, look, out, look out for that one. Ah, screw you! Now, I remember, now, when I first had a PlayStation for the first time, this is one of the games that I first played. Yeah, it's too classic, man. This is like 100% one of the PS1's best games, and for some reason was not included in the, uh... PlayStation and, collection thing. Yeah, for some reason. Okay, I was just trying to check the cameras. But this is one of the purest classic, in my opinion. Hmm. Why isn't it working? What, gliding? No. Okay. Oh, okay. I was just trying to, I was like, shouldn't it like glow and whatnot? Sunny flight, is that what that's called? Wait, did you look at Oh, oh, oh your water hurts? Yeah, water hurts me. Delvin? Where's Nasty Nork? Oh, Where's the Nasty Nork? Nasty Nork? Gee, Nasty! Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Following me? His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. He's, he's, not, he's not kidding, guys. Sparks will literally catch a bullet for Spyro. Yep, uh, I'm protecting. Spyro, and then pretty soon in those reboot games, you and I are gonna be raised the same way. <laughs> For some reason. Do you guys like Spyro and New Beginning Spyro, or do you just like classic I'm a dragon, shoot fire Spyro? 
I know somewhere in the comments people are going to be like, play the Reignited Trilogy. And yeah, we played maybe it. We, we, maybe we, played we it. could have played that instead of this. No, but the man, old this, classic games. Are, this, this is a classic. This is Retro Universe. The classic Spiral games, they're always fun to go back to. I think the art style, the gameplay, all in all, it's good. But you know what? We're dodging the question because we got some questions that we need to be answering. That's right, everybody. You've all submitted your questions and now it's time for the question of the day. Yeah, now we just want to like give you guys like a small, a small retrospect on Spyro. Now I know that um last episode of Retro Universe and Cool Borders 2, we did say that we were only gonna take one question, but we decided mm, where's the fun in that? We'll just answer a select few of questions. Yeah. Hi, Thomas! Or Tom ass. Hey Spyro, press the jump uh, uh, button. Hey Spyro, don't and tell me what to press. I know how to play. Anyways, <laughs> like who hasn't played this game? I played this game. Have you guys played this game? Okay, so let's go ahead and start with question of the day. Okay, or our questions that we have or hand not, picked ourselves. Or not question questions of the day. Yep. Okay, so from this. This person is from the username user high 2 hq 7 pi 6 s What? I, I don't know, but shout outs to you. And their question is question for Steve question for Spinell and Steven. What type of game do you both play in Retro Universe? Um, um re retro, retro, retro games. yeah, retro we would games. We play dude. retro games. Man. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, but if you're telling us what type of retro games, well, we kind of want to just like go back on like um, some pretty old games that people might have grown up with, some games that some people did not grow up with, you know, no. just to give you guys like uh, how things were back in the day, like retro games. Yeah, and I know, um, I just want to go to a world because I, sp I, I spotted this one specific comment where someone said that. When will we ever do, um, what was it? PS3 and what? Xbox 360 games, was it? Yeah, because at or this PS point, they're retro. Yeah, at this point, they would, those consoles or games would be considered retro games, considering they're about, what, a decade old now already? Yeah, or more than a decade. And I would agree with you. And yeah, you're right. They are at the point where they're considered retro, but... To our standards, it's not retro to us, kind of. I know that might show our yeah. age a little, but what yeah. we're trying to point out is that when it comes to retro games, it's all about, like, you look back on these games and... All these games that you guys are playing on Xbox or PS3 or whatever, it's they not win nostalgic to me. No, no, it's not even that. It's that you guys have to understand the merits of where these games come from and like how they made to be to make those PS3 and PS2 games that you guys grew up with. I'll put it to you like this. What game makes you feel a certain type of way of nostalgia or the butterfly feelings in your stomach besides crushes and love and whatever would you get that from old classic games or would you get that from previous older era games like ps3s and stuff like that yeah, on one of i feel like we might i feel like this might be a bad take but what we're, tr what we're trying to relate to everyone that is that these kind of games is basically what we're trying to like um Play. The games that like have the old style graphics and or polygons, polygons, the pixels, the sprites, all that. But you're but you're not wrong. But maybe we will consider PS3 games and maybe some Wii games. It it just it depends. Okay. It's like the standard that the nerd has. Like we're trying to go back to the past. Whoa! Back How to the dare past. you, Samurai Jack? Yeah, or play the poopy games that suck butt. Okay, so next question. This username is from, or this question is from the username of Chris, Yay. or it's kind of hard to pronounce. It's C-H-X-R-R-I-5. I'm sorry if I can't actually say your name. I just don't want to butcher it. So shout outs to you. And their question is, all right, this is a bit dumb, but favorite retro game ever? That's not dumb, my friend. It's, it, nothing is too dumb in the world of Retro Universe, my friend. So. Yeah, because we're just 
is dumb. Like Aster. <laughs> Matthew, you freed all the dragons. Pass through this. Oh, back to my day. Yeah, he pretty Let's dumb. Take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No, okay. no, no. <laughs> uh, back in my day. Oh, I'm dying. Okay, so favorite retro game. Uh, it would have to be Spyro, to be my, in my opinion. Mostly Spyro 2. That's my favorite Spyro game. Uh, man. If we're talking on PlayStation or like... Or any retro... Oh, here's one. Um, let's say... Let's see. Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. That's my favorite retro game. I've really loved that game so much. No, we, we gotta consider like... Ooh. Wow, yeah, but, yeah, but they're talking about any retro game for that matter. I guess. I mean, Yoshi's Island? Kirby? I like Kirby because Kirby's pink. Is that stupid? Is that dumb? That's not dumb. Okay. So the next question is from the username Gore 1066 And they said, Steven, are you and Lapis a thing? Yeah. Now, yeah, Steven, I'd like to know that question. Are you in Lapis a thing? Okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and clear this up right now, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people have been wondering this, but I assure you, me and Lapis are not a thing. Me and her are actually really good friends. Great friends, actually. You keep telling yourself that. Uh, right. <laughs> yep, I'm guessing that question should have been reserved for both of you. Yeah, uh, let's just go ahead to the next question, shall yeah, we? Uh -huh. Okay, so the next question is from the username DartItA92, and they said, nice video. Thank could you, you! Could you bring Spyro from PS1, at least one of the originals, if all three or more episodes would be even better? Anyway, those are nice games that I would like to see again. Well, if congratulations, uh, what was his username? Dart it a well, 92. Well, congratulations, Dart it a. You get a shout out because this is the game we're playing thanks to you. We're, we're looking at you. Uh -huh. Shout out to you. We're playing it. You made this possible along with everyone else who voted for this game. Well, everyone voted for it, so yeah. But you out suggested to, it. So shout outs to you for suggesting it and winning and it winning the poll. So there's that. Yeah. Congratul congratulations. Oh my god, I... L who's, the co who's the composer for Spyro? I think it was like Stuart something. I can't remember. I love the composer to the Spyro games. They're so good. You guys know he also did the music for Life and Times of Juniper Lee? And the, and the Amanda show? Believe it or not. <laughs> I'm so if I, if, confused by that. If anyone remembers the Amanda show from Nickelodeon, play the ending theme to Amanda show. I, I promise you, you'll hear the composer to Spyro's music. Yeah, it's kind of weird if you think about it. It's weird, but I kind of like it. Yeah, I like it too, because I'm like, hey, they're playing Spyro music. Or at least that's what we said as kiddos. Anyways. And turns <clears> out <throat> it was actually from the same composer. Can you believe that? Okay, so... Next question, and it's from the username Black Knight Fifty Eighty Five, and they said, "Question of the day: If you were to lose one of your five senses, what would it be and why?" Ooh, that's I a feel, good question. I mean, I feel like that might be bad because I don't want to offend anyone who actually don't have these senses. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, we're not offending anyone I for just, any of the choices. This is our personal people. opinion, but as but for it, me, okay, you go ahead. As for me, if I was to choose which one, I think I would just lose. You know, my voice. Yeah, I mean, as much as we all love our voices, I'm gonna have to agree with Spinella on this one. I'll, I'd rather go mute than lose any of my other five senses. Cause I wanna touch, I wanna taste, I wanna see, I wanna and, hear. And the reason why we chose that is because it's a lot more easier for us to communicate differently if we are if we're mute. Cause we can either do hand sign language or I can just write it down on a piece of paper and tell you what I'm feeling right now yeah but again if anyone out there is mute i'm sorry but i mean you know anyone basically anybody who you know who? has one of their main senses taken away from them then we really we're really sorry and we feel for you like for real like we're not trying to pity you or anything like that yeah of course but uh i feel 
feel like this uh this gang a, a bit very... too this gang a bit too deep. I'm really we're really sorry. Oswald, what you got to say? Spyro. What? Want to know a secret? Sure. Use the triangle button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. Psych! Because now everyone watching this video <laughs> knows your secret. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, guys, press the triangle button if you want to zoom in, okay? Okay, so, next question. And it's from the username Jungle Evil. Shout outs to you. Uh, and well, their shout out to one of our top tier Patreon members. And their question is What's your favorite retro fighter and who do you main? Retro fighter. Uh, um, I let's guess see. you mean retro fighting games? Let me think. What retro ga what retro fighting game do I remember playing the most? Street Fighter. I mean, yeah, there's that, and there's Killer Instinct. Yeah, but. there's a lot of retro fighting games. In fact, me and Steven were actually thinking about doing some two-player stuff. Oh, oh, okay. Here's one. Um, Tekken Three. I love that one. What in terms of retro fighters? I, I'm pretty sure there are other ones. I'm probably forgetting, like Guilty Gear, because that was also on PS2. Yeah, and I do love um. I love Tekken 3, because I'm pretty sure everyone played Tekken 3. It's the reason you guys know about the Tekken series to begin with. Okay, so I can't really think of all the other ones, so I'll just stick with... Especially off the top of my head. Yeah, so I'll just stick with Guilty Gear and Tekken 3. So, as opposed to who I main, I main, um... Eddie Gordo and, um... Tek in Tekken 3, and I'm pretty sure anyone who... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure anyone who's played Tekken 3 and know of Eddie Gordo knows why I main him. Because you can mash buttons and be good with him. Right? But, you know, and Eddie Gordo recently got announced for Tekken 3 at the time of this video or whenever it came out. So that's pretty cool. Now, Guilty Gear, I main Faust. I'm, I was really good with Faust. Now, uh, for, now for me... Mm -hmm. Well, back in the first Guilty Gear, he was known as Dr. Baldhead. But we're talking about your your main in um, Tekken. Oh, Tekken my three. main in Tekken? Tekken 3 and Guilty Gear. I like Kuma. Oh, the bear? I thought it was Yoshimitsu. I mean, yeah. I know he ain't good, but I like Kuma. And Guilty Gear? May. No, not May. Uh, dang, who was in the original game? I think Jam was in it. Okay, I do like Jam. Um. Oh, I, I, ABA ABBA was in it too. Oh yeah, I love ABBA. Dang, I keep falling off because the camera is inverted. Anyways. Plus, I did like um Zappa. I liked him too. Zappa was interesting, and uh, I don't want to get canceled or anything. Like this, but, uh, the club Bridget the too. But a quick flame. Shut up! I know how to shoot fire. I'm a dragon, man. We spit hot fire. Right in, in his core. All we right. Spit, we spit hot fire. Okay. I don't. I don't need your advice on how to spit fire. I'll drop some boys right now. My name is Spyro. If not, it would be Gyro. And if my favorite food is a Gyro. And my element is pyro. I know, I don't want to burn your computer or anything. Welcome to Town Square. But that, that's not what I asked you. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the L2 and R2 buttons to get Use the, the L2 look. and the R2 buttons. Why, why does he sound like that one captain from Bleach? Mayori? Mayori my my from Bleach? Yeah. Use the L2 and the R2 button to you. I, I can't I've remember. already did that, dude. Okay, um, next question. So this next question is from the username. I'm so sorry if I end up butchering this. Patrice Visaji 8821. I, I don't know if I said that right, but I'm sorry. Wait, if ain't, I, ain't he one of our um Patreons? Patreons. Or my Patreon. Patris! Really. Hiya! How are you doing, Patris Versace? Okay, and their question is, 
What's everyone's favorite food? I know gems don't need to eat, but I'm curious if Spinel ever tried human food and if she likes it. Now, I do have a select few of favorite foods, which is burgers, maybe some pizza, fries, the bits. That was an old Steven though. He, he's all about his protein and taking everything. But I'm guessing in my terms of what I like to eat, I'm guessing, um, I don't know, good food. <laughs> well, uh, I, I, I'm, I, don't, I don't really judge. I like any food that's edible, you know? Well, I can't eat. Well, I can technically, but, you know. Oh, man. Now he's stuck forever, and I have you no gotta choice. Put him, you gotta put him out of his misery, Spinel. So, anyways, to be perfectly honest, uh, <laughs> I, 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 don't, I haven't eaten before, and I'll never know what the joys of eating is like. But if you could, what would you eat? Hmm, I want to eat the things you eat, Steven. Good, I killed that bull, and now you have another one with horns to worry about! Well, I don't know if, what everyone else eats, because I'm going to have to ask them later, but as opposed to everyone else, I assume Amethyst, but she pretty much just eats anything. She eats whatever she can fit down her gullet. Pretty much. Okay. Next question, and this one is wait. Nope. Okay. I'm skipping dragon dialogue. You guys want to play Spyro? You play it yourself. Next question <laughs> from the username Phantom Striker seventy three. Shout outs to you. What was your favorite video game to play? Huh? Favorite video game? That's a really good question, Phantom Striker. Um. What video game do I like playing? What video game do I find myself coming back to every oh. chance I get? Or, if you're asking best video game to play, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. If you haven't played it, play it. Yeah, you're missing out! That's my favorite game. You guys are missing out on so much- Hey! Hey! Get back here, you jerk! Wait, hold on a second. I need to go ahead and grab these gems. I don't want to miss them. We're not trying to be completionists here. Well, I don't think I ever want to be a completionist. Otherwise, I'll take 10 years for it. Don't make you think okay. again. <laughs> Anyways, that's for my favorite game. Ah! You get what you deserve, I guess. Yep, anyways. Okay, so next question from the username Inferin... It, it, I'm sorry. It doesn't say infinite. It says Infernit Ninja. Infernit Ninja 8792 and their question is Steven and Spinel, do you have a favorite retro PlayStation game? Whoa. Spyro 2. That's yeah, my Spyro favorite. Spyro 2, basically. That's my favorite Spyro anyway. It's like who doesn't like Spyro? Next I, question. I guess people would say Crash 2. Yeah, that that's true. Next question from the username Lazu9601. Shout outs to you. Hey Lazu. And their question is yes. Or no, yes. yes. Next question, and it's from the username Tapit Scott 6437 and their question is, for the next retro universe, Spinel, do you like Steven? If so, are you going to confess or wait? Well, of course I like Steven. And Steven knows how much I like him, and <laughs> why wait? I love you, Steven, but you knew that already. I love you too, Spinel, but I oh, have to tell I'm you, but I have to tell you guys that um, it kind of defeats the purpose of the question if I'm already in the room with yeah, her. Yeah, we're always in the same room with each other. Of course <laughs> I like him. Okay. Okay, next question is from the username B Hill Fun Zone, and their question is, to both Steven and Spinel, what are your favorite Mario and Sonic games? P.S. I love your videos. Oh, okay. thanks. I'll, I'll let Spinel answer and I'll go. Okay, well, okay. As for Mario games, now this might be a surprise to you, but my favorite Mario game is New Super Mario Bros. on DS, like the original DS. Oh, wow. It just feels, I just love, it gives me such huge feelings of nostalgia every time I play it. I hope one day I can play that on the channel. As for my favorite Sonic game, oh man. This only a select few of them yeah, out there. Yeah, only a select few, <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> I'm guessing I like, uh, Sonic 3. But in my opinion, there's been some amazing Sonic fan games that I've played, and... 
You know what? I every time I'm like with some friends cool and they flash. said, "Do that again." Cool flash, do that again. Anyways, every time I'm with some friends who are like bigger Sonic heads than I am, then I would normally have fun because they're like, "Hey, I got this new Sonic game we could play, and it's definitely not made by Sega." <laughs> Well, Sonic Mania is cool, too. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. I said my piece. Now it's time for you to say yours. Wait, are you already Nasty North? What? No, I'm already a Toasty. Okay. okay. Uh, let's see. Dang, he bodied you. How dare you drop your weight on me, puppy? Okay, so favorite Mario game... Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Look, I can't stress this enough. The game is fantastic. And if you guys haven't played it, well, it's being re-released, so you better play it, or you can just play it now. Now, opposed to um, Sonic game, uh, let's Besides, see. you wanna know how much Steven loves Paper Mario Thousand Year Door? I love it too much. He has a physical copy of it, so and it was signed <laughs> by It's -a Me, Mario himself. If you guys haven't seen that video that I was in when I explained that what we were doing for the time that we were time that we were gone, I had my copy of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door signed by Charles Martinet, the voice actor of the original Mario. Yeah, I know Mario got a new actor and whatnot. It's yeah. not the same without Sparks. It's it's not. Right, um, Sonic games. I'm just gonna make it quick. Probably Frontiers. Look, I know there's a lot of other Sonic games, and I love those too, but so far, Frontier was so interesting. Yeah, I played Frontier too. I, I didn't finish it. My other friends finished it. So this next question is from the username Christopher Drake 7140 Shoutouts to you. My question for both Steven and Spinel. What would your form look like if you two fused together? Hmm, that is interesting. I never really considered me and Steven to start fusing, but now I kind of want to. I want to know what that looks like myself. I would draw it myself, but I didn't really have time, nor do I feel like it at the moment. But I'd love to see what you guys think that would look like. Yeah, we want to see your interpretation of what it would look like if me and Steven were to do a complete fusion. Or hit the fusion dance from Dragon Ball Z. So, uh, hey, listen, if you've already joined our Discord, I'm going to post um, the Discord link in our description of our video and you can join that. And you can draw your picture of what it would look like if me and Spinel actually did fuse and post it in the art tab of our community. And we'll even show it in the next video episode of Retro Universe. Yeah, we will we will show the top five best pictures of what it would look like if me and Spinel actually fused together and have it in the next episode of Retro Universe. So please do that. I would love to see what that looks like. And if not Discord, then I don't know. At Broske or yeah, you can at Broske on Twitter. You can you can um add it at Broske's Twitter. Oh uh, no! You let him body you. He body. I was wondering when I have sparks. I'm like, where the heck are like the butterflies? You can't charge at him. I can. Okay, so. I'm seriously hoping that maybe one of these days you and I can fuse. So you ready, Steven? I have my hat. I have I'm in, I'm ready. Fusion. Ha! Oh, no, my finger okay. is wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. But that was funny, that was funny. I would like to see what you guys um, come up with uh, as opposed for me and Spinel fusing together. I feel like that's gonna be super fun. Okay, so we have one more question left, but I'll read it as soon as you're finished with this world. Okay. So let's continue talking about Spyro. Oh, whoa, I, I, whoa. How, how did I dodge that? Okay. He missed the frame, that's what happened. Aha. Uh -huh. It turns out that this sheep was able. So oh, there's home? a way out. Okay. So the last question is from the username LifeDreamer819. And their question is, if me and Spinel were to switch bodies with one another, what would be the first thing we do to each other's bodies? Well, mm -hmm. that's an interesting question because the likelihood of that ever happening... Oh, wait, what's going on? Ah! Oh, my head. Oh, what's going... I don't know. Yo, Spinel, are you okay? Yeah, whoa, hold on. Something doesn't look feel right. Yeah, you're right. I feel mortal. 
I feel... Why is my hand pink? Well, this is neat. Yeah, this is very weird. Anyways, if we were, I can finally experience the miracle of eating food for the first time. And I'm guessing I'd find out how far I can stretch my arms. So that'll be an interesting thing. But hey, I'm guessing that'll be the end of this video. Maybe in the next voting poll we'll have Spyro 2 alongside of other lists of retro games to, to see what you guys like to see us play. Yeah, if you want to see us play Spyro 2, let us know down below. But again, thank you guys for submitting your questions. This was a lot of fun and it's a great way to connect with you guys. So if you want your name to be shouted out, Please post your questions down in the comments below so that way you can be the next pick for our next episode of Retro Universe. Yeah, also we apologize for missing the last episode. Yeah, a lot of things happened that week so it kind of threw off our schedule. So sorry if this is like a very early release of Retro Universe. Yeah, we're sorry. But anyways. So, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and how oh, I wanted to do this for so long. And the, 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 that's all, folks. <laughs> Later, oh, everybody. Man. I always wanted to do that. I think you did good.